Welcome back to Scripps News. The conflict in the Middle East continues to escalate this weekend with the U.S. launching two major strikes on Iran-backed militias. But this weekend's escalation, U.S. officials say, is the first of many. So could it lead to a direct involvement of U.S. troops in the Middle East? For a more in-depth look at the situation, we're joined by Jamil Jaffer, founder and executive director of the National Security Institute at the Antonin Scalia Law School at George Mason University. Jamil, as always, thank you for being with us here on Scripps News. So today, while making the Sunday talk show rounds, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan vowed the U.S. will take, quote, further action against Iran-backed militias, even after the major airstrikes that we've seen over the last couple of days. He obviously didn't give away what the U.S. is planning next specifically. Uh, but from your experience and perspective, what do you think we will see next? Well, look, obviously a good start to this uh, response to the killing of three Americans in Jordan with 85 uh, strikes against seven targets in Iraq and Syria. Uh, but still a lot more to be done here. Really what we're going to have to do if we're going to effectively deter Iran and the militias it backs is to really hit Iran directly and to make them feel the pain uh, of this action they've taken against American soldiers. We've tried the hitting uh, Iranian proxy strategy already in the Red Sea. That has not been successful. The attacks by the Houthis in the Red Sea have continued. And I think we can expect more of the same in Iraq and Syria. Until we take direct action against Iraq, it's not likely we're going to see a real deterrence of those militias. And, and to that point exactly, Jake Sullivan refused to rule out U.S. strikes in Iran. Do you think attacks inside Iran are legitimately under consideration? Uh, or by refusing to answer that question, do you think that's just the administration's way of keeping Iran in the dark and guessing? You know, it's a great question. I think that uh, so far the administration has not been willing to attack Iran directly inside of Iran. Um, in fact, not the prior administration, which did take direct action against Iran by killing Qasem Soleimani, the commander of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Quds Force, also didn't act in Iran. They acted against him in Iraq. Uh, so you might see strikes against Iranian officials and leaders, the Quds Force, uh, in other parts of the uh, region. Uh, Sullivan, I think, you know, sort of kept back on talking about any kind of operational details, which I think makes a lot of sense. The challenge, of course, is until Iran really feels this pain, they're not going to stop doing this. And so I think the administration has got to be clear and take action directly against them. Otherwise, they're just going to see us as weak and unresolved uh, to stop this activity, and it will continue. Exactly. We're just going to keep seeing more of what we've been seeing, which potentially could put more American troops lives at risk. Uh, now, another group causing these, you know, part of this conversation, the Iran backed Houthis say they will meet escalation with escalation after Saturday's attacks uh, on targets within Yemen. What could an escalation look like from the Houthis and what do you think the U.S. response need to be needs to be there? Well, you know, the Houthis have already engaged in dozens upon dozens of attacks against American warships, commercial shipping. We've been lucky thus far uh, that we've been able to knock all those things down and take those drones out with air with a ver combination of airstrikes on the ground, taking them out while they're in the air, as well as uh, ship based defenses. But of course, just like with the attacks in Iraq and Syria, at some point, one of these attacks is going to sneak through and American soldiers or civilians are going to die. And that's the real challenge here. Uh, regardless whether the Houthis say they're going to escalate, the reality is that it is Iran behind them that is escalating. And so while the White House is rightly concerned and should be concerned about an escalation dynamic, the fact of the matter is Iran has already escalated. They continue to escalate. And the reason they're escalating is they're not feeling the price of these actions. If and when they do, and if and when they know that that, that pressure will be sustained, then they might start to de-escalate. Until then, I worry you're going to see continued escalation, as you said, Alexa, increased risk for Americans uh, in the region and our allies. Definitely a very delicate balance that the White House and Biden administration are walking right now. Jamil Jaffer, thank you so much for your time and expertise. Thanks, Alexa.